With a few more days left to the start of the season, I'm nervous. Have I done enough to get this squad ready for their first foray into the championship? I don't know. My name is Daljit. Welcome to Bustanet. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification button to stay in touch for more videos like this. So here we are. Okay, finances. What was our status at the start of the season? We had a 1 million transfer budget. But okay, the thing here is this, right? I had players from the previous season. So a lot of them are on CTR. Their contracts have run out, but we still pay them wages, right? Because they're the club. So I'm going to have to try and get rid of some of them because I'm not sure who's going to be playing in the first team. Um, our transfer budget is 543. We still have a lot of room uh, because I yeah, haven't done that badly. Because we haven't paid for any of these players. They're all free transfers. Dennis Sherbini, who's a striker. Uh, we got Connor Hall, who's going to be another striker. So you can tell Javin Smith's number is up. <laughs> Ben Nugent, he's a central defender, but he's already got a hamstring injury, which is a bit of a disappointment. I went for him because he's got jumping reach and hitting, at least gives us an option in set pieces. Then we've got Adam Phillips. I'm looking at him to be, if I do decide I'm going to be playing a 4 2 3 1, then I can definitely use him in that uh, AMC slot. He can, he has comes deep to get the ball, which also gives me an option for us if I wanted to use the dark side system. Then we've got Dennis Politic, another attacking midfielder who can play as a winger out on the right. Um, he adds width because of that player trait that he has. Um, and I keep plays as a winger, but as you can tell, his off the ball is not bad. Um, he gets he, pretty decent movement, average attributes. Gives me some options. In pre-season friendlies, before we signed him, he looked potentially decent, right? In uh, I, I was just trying out the dark side system. He seemed pretty decent. And one of our results in preseason was pretty impressive. And finally, we've got James Gibbons. Uh, he's going to be a right back. Oh, the thing is, left backs and right backs, you, you can't have too many. <laughs> uh, I've learned with AC Milan that sometimes you need six. So... It's very really hard for me not to say yes to this player because he's got a pretty good work ethic. On top of that, he's got a good delivery. Crossing of 14 definitely puts him up there as one of the one of the players that we want to have in the team. So I looked at him and I went, okay, fine. That's not too bad. James Gibbons is uh is gonna add a lot of uh, depth to the squad and gives us some strength on the flanks. He's already valued at 220. TK. This guy is value at 425k. This guy is value at 135k. Ben Nugent at 250k. Connor Hall at 600k. This is a free signing. And then we have Dennis Shibiani 550k. So I feel that I've made the right signings here. So we've got these players in. Now I'm looking at my squad and we still have a, a whole set of other players here. We're trialing. I'm gonna move them into the under 23 squad and we we'll take a look at our squad now i'm just looking at the under 23 squad like this <laughs> so in terms of current ability they rank jake taylor as somebody i should be looking at right so i i sometimes i do this it's like a small little i i think it's even even like it gives you a preview of a player so that's not too bad omar bogle uh striker we might want to add one more striker to the mix then david milanko milenkovic um, as an AMC, possible, definitely can start thinking of using dark side. Suli, Kai Kai, another striker. So we have, like, there are players out there that we can sign, but all of these are just strikers. Then I got Tom Evans, another striker. The striker department is <laughs> nothing but strikers. That's all I have. Then Danny McNamara, fullback. Kyle Vassell, a midfielder. This guy was uh, from my director of football. So I asked uh, for a midfielder who might be available and Kyle Vassell's name popped up, but he's also a striker. We've got Elliot Johnson, another fullback. William Sanders, a central defender. Maximilian Bora. Kluk Ras, I moved him here. He, as you can see, this is one of our existing DMs. 
not exciting. <laughs> I can't use really use him at the moment. Connor Kirby, it, m I might be signing him, right? So he doesn't have the agility or the balance, which makes me a bit worried. He dives into tackles, which is a bit of a concern. Um, so yeah, we we we're still hoping to get more recommendations from the scouting center. Scouting center, as you can see. We've got uh, other players here. Joe Hardy. I'm not going to sign him. And we've got all these players in the scouting center. Sam Judd is another player that the scouts are recommending. The agents are coming in, knocking on my door, asking me to, you know, try trial this break, trial the players. But I don't know, man. I really don't know what I'm going to do. Because we have room, that's for sure, in the wage budget. So these are the existing players. George Bell. I might be using him more often. This is our youngster from last season. We got Jack Lee, who's a central defender, but I can definitely move him to midfield. Will Evans, another central defender who's gonna be who's, who's only valued at ten point seven five. So you can see the gulf, the difference, the gulf between the players that we have added and the ones that are here at the club. Jack Steele is a young player that I am very attached to. Right. I made him the wise captain. Can you believe it? Because I have his leadership attribute is going up slowly. Right. So he's got he went for leadership uh training. So he definitely is improving slowly. It's not like he's making massive leaps. Right. So here we go. His leadership attribute is a marginal, like you know, marginal increase. Then it's a fractional increase. You know, the bar is just, I'm I'm trying to make myself feel better that he will you know eventually get better but all time like yeah his leadership attribute all time was 10 and still about 10 all the attributes well he has improved slowly but yes i know i'm trying to make myself feel better i really need my place to get better i just don't know what to do these guys are scaring the living bejesus out of me so we got tim parker as well um yeah so all these players who got ctr beside their names they may be going right so all these players have got ctr ctr anybody's got ctr is on the hot list and what i will probably end up doing is moving all these ctrs into the reserves uh, fabio saraiva i'm moving him into the under 23 squad so i i, I what i end up doing is I end up making this as as uh, thin as possible, right? Then uh, we've got one player. I'm leaving Sase there because I still don't I'm not sure about Sase because more is good. So we got Javain Smith as well out of contract. I'm sad because he wants a new deal to reflect his ability. The problem I have with that is. He's been on two stars for a really long time. He's never fulfilled his potential, which is a three star. So we're going to move him to the under 23 squad. Now, Joe Hanks is a bit of a scary player. Another player who hasn't really improved. He's already 29 years old. So we're going to keep him around because, again, I'm getting sentimental about players who've been with this club for a really long time. So as you can see, there are not too many players. What we're going to have to do now is go for the registration and make sure that those players that we've added to the squad, or rather those players who are, you know, we're going to add them uh, and to the team that's going to be playing this season. Nugent is uh, going to be in, but I think he's injured for quite a while. Then uh, we'll just add James Gibbons, who's new as well. And uh, we've got Dennis Politic, he's new. We're going to add him to the team. And we've got, yeah, I think those are all the players that we have. Right. Confirm. Yes. Can still assign Ben Nugent on a free transfer. Yeah, with squad registration. We've done it already. Confirm the selection. And let's continue. So we've got a champ. We've got this big match against Portsmouth coming up, and I haven't even properly done my training yet. So as 
So as more players come for trial, I keep an eye out on this. And uh, we go back to scouting, go to the DOF, and keep asking the DOF for that missing link that I need. Um, DMs. Keep suggesting. No, we can't do transfers, right? We got Richie Smallwood. Nine. May not be too bad. Off the ball is a bit low. Uh, Maximus Taino. Finished player. What we can only do with him is assign a scout from the scouting pool for two weeks. And then we got Tom. I've seen Thomas Kemshaw before. He's just basically not good enough. The transfer deadline is in one week. We have to make a decision now. Nidem, we have a loan offer coming in. Christian Nidem. Okay, that's good. Kingstonian trials are finished for these players. I have to make a decision now. He's not good enough. Jake Taylor, midfielder. He, I might want to sign. But his bravery, he's got good teamwork. He can tackle. He's got decent positioning. The question mark is his bravery, whether he's going to go in and challenge. And then we got Boruk as well, the goalkeeper. George Bell is in, <laughs> he's injured now. Uh, we're going to have to adjust the training slightly because I might not have any players for the big game. So we're going to do custom early season training. We're going to remove this. We're going to do match preparation, attacking movement. Match preparation, defensive shape, and match preview, make, making it a bit lighter. And we'll just keep doing early season training all the way until um, the game, uh, until my players uh, get some familiarity with the tactics. Speaking of tactics, I still don't know what I'm playing. I tried this in preseason. Our results weren't that bad. We only have four preseason matches. So this is, I've been so focused on getting my players into my team. That I completely forgot to arrange more friendly matches. So this is one of the worst preparations I've done heading into the championship. But this is a good result. Kingstonian beating Glasgow Rangers 4-3. Both of us using 4-2-2-2. Except ours might be a bit more aggressive than theirs. And we had some good performances from Danny Politic. Olufela Olomola. <laughs> It was pretty decent during the game. Uh, Elliot Johnson, we never did sign him. He's, he's, he's still in the club. He's with the under 23s. I think he's on trial still. Um, and then we got Ben Nugent. He had a decent game. Uh, James Gibbons, we signed him as a result of this game because I was pretty impressed with him, even though he's only had 6.7. Um, up top, we had this guy called Tom Eaves, who was playing as a striker. Wasn't bad, pretty aggressive, played as a hold up man in the game, and he's still with the other two entries. So I haven't really decided whether I'm going to uh, sign him. Sam Judd, dog, people knocked at the door asking us to sign him. We're not going to sign him based on that one match. Ricky German had a deep, okay game. David Sasse, this performance in this game, because it's like literally head to head, right? The two fullbacks. This is it, man. He's not going to be. Playing in the first team. John Kimani Gordon showed that he still wants to play for the first team. So I'm very happy that at least one of our, one of our players performed okay. Connor Kirby, uh, this player wasn't that bad. However, is this this anticipation and bravery that's got my head in. I, I'm thinking to myself that, you know, we can sign him as a fringe player. Right? Worst case scenario, at least I have another player in there. I'm not going to give him a... Uh, we are, look, he's 53. We've got players who are earning 150, so that's not too bad. We'll negotiate the contract. Appearance fee, I, I'm not going to argue. I'm just going to accept it. One year extension after league games, so this is not happening. <laughs> that's not happening. Okay, we go two years. Okay, done. So we've added another player in there because the situation could be worse. Corner Hall never got a chance to play. I never did try this guy out. But we signed him. <laughs> I think we signed him, right? Corner Hall is in the main team already. Now let me check. Strikers. Let's see if Corner Hall is in this team. Yeah, we got Corner Hall. John Marquis has just been signed. And he's looking pretty interesting. Okay. Now, let's take a look at what we look like versus the rest of the league. Which should be quite interesting. 
All right, in terms of the goalkeepers, um, let's look at the technical skills of the goalkeepers. Yeah, the only so as you can see, we are pretty off. <laughs> we're pretty far off, right? Um, uh, this is not even important. I mean, like goalkeepers, right? So kicking reflexes, aerial reach. We about yeah. We okay. It's bad. <laughs> Just, I didn't. I don't know what to say about my team. All right, defense. Let's look at their mentals. Before I get depressed, <laughs> midfielders' mentals. Well, not too bad. At least we have some leaders, and we have some, we're a pretty determined team. Well, in some areas we're not doing too badly, I guess. We we're pushing the we're pushing near the averages, but you can see the gap between the average and the highest. Then we got the strikers. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, be prepared for a very humbling experience. The dressing room atmosphere is poor. I don't blame them. I've got... If I'm looking at team dynamics, Joe Hanks and Sam Johnson are still team leaders. Joe Hanks shouldn't be a team leader because he's a fringe player. We've got Joe Slynn, John <laughs> Jack Lee, Ben Nugent, Gibbons has just joined. So this is interesting because two players... Have jumped in. Two new signings have become very influential. Then we got the guys at the bottom, right? So, well, he might be playing. He's not playing. He's not playing. He might be playing. He might be playing. He might be playing. He might be playing. He's not playing. He might be playing. <laughs> Things are not looking good for us. Let better finish. I thought he was a. I thought he was a, you know, a golf coach, right? <laughs> So, more Adams. I've been looking at this guy. This is one player I might be keen on signing. All right, more Adams is not that bad, right? So, I am I think that we might make a pitch for more Adams because he's valued at 240k. He can be played in the holding position, a position that we sorely lack. Um, he's not too bad. We're going to go in and make an offer for more Adams, man. Transfer. Uh, I just did. <laughs> so let's transfer offer. What did I offer? Offer ninety nine thousand, right? To more for more Adams transfer status. Is there any Exeter have we made a higher transfer bid? Okay, we're gonna um check the transfer status and see which stage of the negotiation we are. We, we offered him a contract already. So hopefully it comes in. Jacob Thompson, we wanted to sign him. Nothing doing. We got Alan Tapchat. We Tapchat. Okay, I offered him a contract as well. Right. I think this is a this is a loan signing. Right. Could be a transfer itself. You know, tr yeah, this might be loans. Eighty mm. k. You know, this is a signing. This is a loan signing. Yeah. Okay. So. We're hoping that we can get these players in. We're just hoping, right? We just need to get that one holding player, one more holding player in, and we might be okay. But this guy, uh, Joe Bart, Joe Bart, midfielder, center, 11 technique. His work rate, nah, forget it. I need higher work rates. Work rate is not easy to, do. it's very hard to get work rate up. I won't say it's very hard. It's, yeah, it takes yeah it's not easy to get work rate up so we, i'm not going to bother signing players with lower crates this guy's got nine for acceleration i mean he's got a lot of nice attributes uh especially when it comes to positioning teamwork and work rate um he's off the ball is very very low he's more like he's going to stick in one position and just do his job it's not something that i can afford right now we definitely want players that can actually move up the pitch so he's out so we got more Adams. We've done it. We've secured the signing of more Adams. All right, that's good news for us. So as we we go into it, we go in. I'm beginning to feel a bit of hope. All right, squad registration. There's no there's no point asking you to go and welcome more Adams. Seriously, more Adams. Welcome to the club. All right, we got more Adams in the team now. That strengthens us somewhat. 
Okay, now the question is, do I sign any more strikers? Yeah, I mean, I have a habit of signing lots and lots of strikers, so it's not the first time I'm going to have like seven to eight strikers in my team. We want two attacking midfielders, and I want two strikers. I want options. So we have Adam Phillips, who's a holding player, and who can also play, you know, he's not a holding player, he's a final third player. All right. Then we got Gordon, who can play as a striker. Connor Hall, who can play as a striker. Dennis Politi can play as an AM. Shebiani, who can play as an AM. All right, that means we need we need another two strikers. At least one more striker. All right, that's what we're going to do. We have uh, players that are... One of these players is going to have... Is going to be the recipient of a chance... Of a contract from us. Connor Kirby... Midfielder, center, DM, no. Olofol, there's something about this guy that is making me sit up and take notice. No, I can't allow my... He's, he's like, I'm, I am grasping at straws now. You know, this is the feeling I'm getting. I'm just trying to find some rational... I'm trying to rationalize an illogical choice. Now my squad is unhappy with Jack Lee. So, as our players, we should give Jack Lee more playing time. Oh, this is discuss issue with the squad time. This is a couple of important players. Assertive. I mean, what's your problem? If I had agreed to his playing time, your man dropping someone else. Shut up. Yep, get out of my room. <laughs> That's the response you just got from me. Get out of my room! I've got enough of a problem right now with you lot. Hanging over me at every single turn. We need to assemble a squad that's got a chance of survival here. Right? A chance of survival. So now, Connor Kirby. I keep coming back to Connor Kirby for some reason, but hang on a minute. We, we know that we, we have to make a decision. We only got a week now. It, I can't go out there and depend on scouts now. Right? I can't add a scout. I can definitely add free signings in. Right? So we've got um, our short list. We've got strikers here. There are some strikers here uh, in our short list. Niall Huggins. I was looking at him for a while. And then the coach scout report came in. Doesn't feel comfortable in big matches. So we, we're gonna just, I'm just going to remove him so that our short list becomes shorter. Barry Thompson, my goodness. I wanted to sign this guy. <laughs> they wouldn't even allow me. To, he's on the transfer list, right? They wouldn't allow me to trial him. Transfer list of for 475k, take it or leave it. So, no thanks. Victor Sodiende. Um, no, we can't. So, this guy is not coming. Javi Nibs, no. Olufela Olomola. Okay, the only reason why I'm hesitating about signing this player is because I'm going to have a, such a hard time pronouncing his name. Olufela Olomola! It's true. Oh no, it's true. Okay, that's it. Because we can call you. Oh no, you're true. We're gonna sign him. What about Owen Gallagher? Owen Gallagher, I feel sorry for you, man. The guy who got you out of this situation. I'm sorry. It's gonna be oh no, follow, oh no, oh no, man. I'm going crazy you now. Approach the side. We're signing. Oh no, what you want? Demands, dude. You're a regular starter. That's it. Take it or leave it. Don't make demands. You come to the club. Ask more to suggest. My goodness. I can't believe they have the audacity to tell me to replace Sam Johnson. You are not here to accept that. We'll give you a really, I'll give you a really good relegation release clause. How about this? All right, we get relegated. You can leave for 1K. Does that make you happy? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Man. I'm so pissed. Okay. Alright, we have to sign players and it's driving me insane. <laughs> okay. This is the this other option is a strikerless option. See when you can't find strikers, go strikerless. Hey, I'm in the same camp. I will say the same thing, but unfortunately for us we don't have those kind of players. Uh, Thomas Franek has not been scouted, so there's no time. 
Then we got all these players. Now, Jamie Bowden has been a player I've been, you know, on the fence about. The re he's another player who's he's got he's good looking. <laughs> he's not a criteria to join the club, but unfortunately, looks can only take you that far. You know, he doesn't relish big matches. So yes, we're trying to find humor in everything because we ca we cannot now it's. Now it's a case of uh, we got this guy. We are asking for uh, bid, we're bidding, we loan bid with Southend and Kingstonian. But please, you know we're in the championship. Can you allow him to come to us? All right. So now we go back to our scouting center. We go to uh, scouting center. Talk to the DOF. Request a DOF suggestion for striker. We're gonna we're gonna do a literal casino roll and sign a player. We got Isaac Davis. Place or the card. Okay, he's got. Yeah, he fulfills a few of my requirements, except for low determination, right? Okay, what he has, he has blistering acceleration. He won't be able to play as a complete forward. All he has is go out there and try and score. Everybody wants him on a loan. Okay, that's what we'll do. We'll make an offer. We'll go for a loan. Um, 10%. Cardiff will require a playing contribution of 207,000. No, 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 no. It's okay. Thank you very much. Thanks for all the fish. Yeah. <laughs> We're not signing him. Okay. Then we've got this bravery composure. And this guy is out of the question. And then we got George Alexander. 16, 12, 12, 12, 10 to 12, 11 to 13, 17 to 19, off the ball is 12. That's not too bad. This guy is not too bad. He plays on Manfield. Estimated value is 275,000. We have absolutely no idea what kind of a player this guy is going to turn into. But we can only pray and hope that he turns into something special. All right, George Alexander, we're going to suggest terms. Yes, finalize the offer. We're not going to waste any time. We've gone in with a blind side. We've done one completely blind. He wants a contract with the minimum referee so allow him to move out the future. My goodness, he has absolutely no faith in us. Star player. No, I don't. <laughs> you know what's worse? You know, you, you go in, you've never met the guy before. The first thing you're about to sign a contract with him, first thing he does, he looks, gets up, looks at you and says, you know, I'm the star you've been looking for. <laughs> I'm going, I'm trying my best to keep a straight face. <laughs> you got an important player, maybe, but you ain't no superstar. <laughs> relegation wage drop. Okay, we can give you a relegation wage drop. What? I'll give you 5%, son. 5%. Are you happy? Relegation release will give you 1K. No sell on fee percentage. How's that? Let's see if this works. Okay. If we, if we get relegated, you can leave for 1k. Sheesh kebabs. Minimum fee release clause? No. I'm not. Okay. Mm. All right. We'll give you a minimum fee release clause of 1.5 million. How's that? How's that, man? How's that? Take it or leave it. Yeah, okay. Good. No expiry date. <laughs> from, this, from the position I'm in, to 1.5 million is a fantastic deal. All right, so we've got players coming in, and uh, once Adams to settle at more Adams, we've got our players in, and guess what? We have done the deed, we have prepared everything, and now we're going into our match against Portsmouth. But that's not happening today because today was the second part of our preseason signing. Otherwise, this show is going to be an hour long. And then we'll be doing key highlights for the next match, which is not going to be at all entertaining because you're going to see all the foul ups that my side has to offer you. I hope you enjoyed today's show. Yeah, I'm trying my best to keep a straight face and enjoy myself through this little period I like to call chaos. Basically, anything that can go wrong will go wrong if you don't plan properly. And while I was meticulous with how I wanted my scouting to be done and everything else, there was something I forgot to do. And I only realized it when I started doing the show. 
I forgot to set up more preseason matches to get my players accustomed. And we have a very challenging match against Portsmouth as we travel to Fratton Park on a nice, cool, or rather in, in Singapore we call it cool 23 degrees Celsius. But we don't want to bring the game today because I want to go and, you know, gather my thoughts before the game. Because I think I'm about to get hammered. How much? You'll have to find out the next show. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show. If you have any questions, please look me up on Twitter at Bustonet or addicted to fm.com or website. Once again, I want to thank everybody for their continued support of this channel and make this kind of show possible for the rest of the community. You guys take care. Have a good one. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.